What's up, guys? Private Crazy here with Mindless Productions, bringing you another episode of Dead Rising, sponsored tonight by vegetables. Eat your vegetables, kids. Not really. In the last episode, we rescued a doctor, Cowman got shot, and we killed a uh, crazy store owner. Manager. Whatever he's called. Yeah, that thing. Anyways, we're here to get medicine, so let's go ahead and run on back. Grab ourselves some much-needed meds. Dude, while we're here, we should probably grab a couple of painkillers. All that good stuff, and... Whoa! Oh my god, they invented the power of levitation. Dude, whoever worked in this freaking pharmacy was a genius. He found a way to make plastic float. Wow. Now, if they can just apply that in some kind of polyester form onto a child, they could make a robot kid superhero. Eh, Capcom would never do that. How am I looking on food? I'm pretty good. I would say let's run and grab a few survivors, but we're really, really cutting it close on time. Eh. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to ignore the people in Chrysalis for now. How much time do they have? Yeah, they have quite a bit of time. We're going to ignore them for now. We're going to grab that Lover's A and B. I know this is a bad idea, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to see if I can get to them in time. So, doesn't look like it at the rate of how slow I'm running. This is going to be close. Let's go ahead and... Just in case, because I have no faith in myself, I'm going to save before I try this, though. So that if I do run out of time, I can just say screw it. Okay, now that we've saved, let's go ahead and run on up. Pick these other two up. Memory serves me right there in the shoe store, right next to where we dropped David off to go fight Slappy. And I must admit... This is my third time rescuing these people. I have had fail after fail after fail. And it has not been pretty. Matter of fact, while I'm dodging these zombies, let me go ahead and show you said fails. Um, guys, kind of need to get going. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through, coming through. And oh, jeez, that's a lot of zombies. Come on, guys. Come on. Really? I just had to try and rescue every survivor. God damn it. Oh, now he's going to die. Wow, that's... That's impressive. He actually managed to die... Before the case file time ran out. Come on. You've got to be freaking kidding Come on. me. Come on. Well, this is a thing. Follow me. Yeah. Well, I guess he wasn't in such dire need after all. Because we already got him back his medicine. Whatever. Just whatever. Next case at 11 8. Scoop chance lost. Oh, you son of a bitch. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Yeah. Worked real well. Anyways, here we are in Run Like the Wind. It's right next to the space ride thing. I'm a jigger. And, hey, it's food. I like food. People. Hey, what's up with your buddy there? He don't look so good. Yeah, Frank, I just said that. He got shot. Well, that sucks, man. I've been shot like a million times. By P90s, 50 cals, sniper rifles, shotguns. I even got stabbed a few times by a guy with a shopping cart. Hey, yeah, I'm Frank, the photojournalist. I kill people, watch them die, and leave them for dead. Just so I can get some good pictures. And man, that was a great grammatical sentence. Just how long are we going to have to talk? Just take care of Tanya for you. 
Well, I gotta break it to you, Tanya. He don't look so good. See? Frank agrees. Dr. Frank agrees. And he says he's not a doctor. So screw it. No way. Look, come on, lady. We gotta leave him. We gotta leave him, lady. We're on a schedule. Yeah, well, if you want to... Well, I'd like to get both of you out alive because I'm trying to get all survivors rescued, but apparently that's not going to work. A gun? I don't have a gun. And Otis, you're breaking up a very touching moment. Home and garden shop and alfresco. No, we are leaving him. He does not get saved. Or he will later, but we're leaving him for now. That guy's what screwed me over. What? Come on. Fine. If you won't leave Ross, we'll take him with us. We need to move, though. We need to channel our inner cow, mans. Come on. You're coming with me. Man, this is a lot of dialogue, seriously. For a game that's all text-based talk, or text-based dialogue, they jam a ton in there. So kind. I hope Dead Rising Thanks. 3 actually has dialogue. You know what? I'm giving you a katana. Because you are now Rashon. Yeah. Your name is no longer Tanya. You're Rashon. Get used to your new name. And oh, hey, we got a new skill. What's our skill? Uh, we are not going through that. The double lariat skill. Or lariat. I actually don't remember what that one does, so... I guess we'll never know. Um... Let's see if I can just circumvent the hordes of zombies. Come on, Rashon. She actually does fairly well for herself with that katana, so you should be able to just hand her that and leave her. She might take a few hits, but for the most part, I think she does a good job. And seriously, I know there's still a good number of zombies, but I thought there were so many more last night. Weren't there just, like, hundreds last night? What are these? Like, I Am Legend zombies? They just all go hide during the day? I mean, I guess technically those were vampires, or... You know what? What were those? Were the zombies in I Am Legend vampires or zombies? Post in the comments, because I really want to know. I know the book calls them vampires, but... These things are, like, the most zombie-ish vampires I've ever seen. Oh, I'm going off on a tangent. Where the hell is she? Get off! No camping in zombie games. Where the hell are you going? Come on. We'll tag team them. Dual katana action. Yeah. You run so freaking slow. But you slice the katana very well. Aw, I lost my katana. Hey, get off. I'll take this. Come on. And now that you're both here. Okay, what are y'all doing back there? Get over here. I would save, but I'm really scared that I'm going to run out of time. Well, that could be a problem. Um, let's see if I can get through this. You know what? Despite how much I like them, I'm actually going to use a gun here. Because I think I can actually get through these a little bit faster with a gun. If I can aim right. Let's see. Come on. Yeah, this seems to be taking longer than if I just knife it off. Knee shot. I used to be a zombie like you until I took a bullet to the knee. This isn't working so well. And it sounds like there's zombies behind us. Oh! There are. You know what? Here. Let's see if you can use the gun better. And I'm going to take the katana. Only has a few bullets left, so... Jeez, I, I downed like 30 of those things. And, ah, more people to save. 
And while well, she's screwed. You two, wait there. See if I can get through to her. Damn! How many of these freaking zombies are there? I just lost my entire katana to them. Hey, come on, move. Listen, lady. We need to go. And then if memory serves me right, hiding just inside, is Heather. These two are sisters. One abandoning the other to save her own life. Come on. Yeah, don't get your panties in a bunch. Come on. Safe place. Yes, helicopter. What are we waiting for? Let's go. We're almost out of time. Sorry if I sound a little rushed, but like I said, this is my third time doing this. What the hell was that? What the hell is she doing? What the freaking hell is she doing? Come on. We need to get out of here. Are they behind me? Please tell me they're following me. They're way back there. Great. I really need to heal. Pamela, get over here. Getting on my nerves. Here. If I hold your hand, will you? Let's go. Come on. Okay, gang's all here. Out of the way, Tanya. You lost your katana. You're no longer allowed to be called Rashon. You have lost the right to have that name. And well, this is great. Knife through him. Follow me. Let's see if I actually can get through here without everyone dying. Actually, you know what? I have a theory. I think I have a way to get around all the zombies in the elevator. I'm going to try something and hope it works because we are really short on time. Okay, everyone, wait right there. Oh, no, get the knife out. Take a lead pole. Or pipe. Or... No, don't drink the milk. Ah, I did not mean to do that. What is taking y'all so long? Hurry up. I don't have all day. Are these two really getting back up? Whatever, okay. Everyone here, I have a very bad idea that I think just might work. Let's see, maybe if I just hit the button? Hit the button. Hey, it worked. I don't care if that's cheating. It works. Come on, everyone. We're actually going to make it back in time for once. Come on, everyone, get up. Hurry up. There we go, we got the hard guy up. Now that he's up and out of the way, everyone else should be able to get up. Come on. Come on. As long as everyone's up on this ledge, then they get saved. Yeah, all you get to do is wait here. I have to go rescue everyone else. Whatever. Well, we have gotten a ton of stuff done in this episode. Or, well... Eh, you know what? Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll uh, go ahead and see the cutscene. Yep, here's the medicine. There's your medicine. Next case is at 11 a.m. So we have... How much time do we have for that? Uh... We actually have a little bit of time to kill. I don't know what to do now. I 
I guess let's go check on our survivors. See how they're doing. Hey, how you guys doing? Oh, yeah, you want to bow to me? I'll get a picture of that. I'll get a picture of you two bowing to me. There's a picture for you. Brutality? That's a brutality picture? Actually, we're starting to get quite a little posse of survivors in here. We have David, the two Japanese guys. By the way, thanks for the heads up about the guy with the shopping cart. Totally didn't help. Here we have Ross and Tanya, a.k.a. Rashon. Very helpful. And Ah, cool, we can go to the store now. Oh, her Brad's still a little uncomfortable. He's stabilized. He should be fine for now. Are you all right? You have blood on you. Huh? Yeah, um, I've had blood on me for the entire game. Yeah. The gore in this game is ridiculous. Girl, I saved. girl. Was she hurt? Oh, she's jealous. to help her, but she took off. Can't really blame her for running from a guy with your looks. Ooh, you just got told. Anyway, she was saying something about Santa Cabeza. Man, shout out to the smiley Santa face on the Cabeza. wipeout board. I think I. Oh, hey, the taco shop, Santa Cabeza. Doctor Barnaby, you're awake. Oh, no, thanks to you. Santa Cabeza. Yeah, seriously, where's this place? I want tacos. Oh. Santa Cabeza. So the tacos are causing the zombies. You plan to dispense justice I've heard of bad tacos Calm before, down, but man. Dr. Barnaby. We're only following orders. We have to protect, protect you. Protect? More like imprison. Professor, if we're going so to this guy's crazy. We need to and I should know. I'm private crazy. Please. Wait a sec. Crazy? I'm private crazy? Is he my long lost uncle? I don't have a long lost uncle. <laughs> Maybe he's the long-lost uncle I never knew I had. Am I right? We all know what Santa Cabeza is. It's the taco shop. Seriously, Frank? Man, way to be a party killer. Fine. I'll just get my information somewhere else. Thank you very much. Well, you were kind of impeding on their conversation. Okay, well, there's that case file. A one-off case file. Kind of a unique thing. I don't believe there's many more like that. And we have till 3 p.m. for the next case, so we have a whole day ahead of us. So, in the next episode, we're going to go wrangle up a lot of those survivors. We have where that photo challenge is almost available. We got to pick up the coward who screwed me over so many times. And we have to go deal with Hatchet Man, whoever that is. But all that is for the next episode. So, this has been Private Crazy. See you when I see ya.